This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Well, why is 50 Cent being so insensitive to Michael K. Williams' passing? He keeps posting things about fentanyl and his, his latest uh, episode of Raising Canaan. He keeps doing that. And people were wondering why. Well, it comes down to a few years ago when Michael K. Williams defended Jimmy Henchman. And let me get to that article. So he defended Jimmy Henchman in an art here. It is right here. Michael K. Williams denies Jimmy Henchman assaulted in jail. 50 Cent slams him for his roles in The Wire. Now, you know, Jimmy Henchman and 50 Cent don't get along at all. Okay. Uh, one reason Jimmy Henchman represented the game after he was uh, left G Unit and was going against 50, and he's part of the G U Not campaign. There's a lot of other reasons too. Um, so, anyways, let's see. There, are Jimmy Roseman in jail. There, okay. So, 50 Cent sparked rumors that Jimmy Henchman um, was assaulted in jail. Jimmy Henchman was arrested in 2011 for. Uh, Two life terms or something like that in 2015, assaulted in jail. Michael K. Williams said, I just stopped to pass by with a little message for anyone who may not you know, be interested in the whole thing in regards with Jimmy Roseman on social media in the past few days. They're completely false. I speak to him and his team on the regular basis. I assure you he's fine or in prayer. So with all that, I say to anyone under the sound of this simple man's voice, God bless. Uh, 50 Cent then went off <laughs> and you know he said uh michael k hey yo yeah yo this dude want to smoke with you he said you p-u-s-s-y he holding jimmy to rat down and you ain't gonna do nothing because remember uh for some reason yeah yo slapped uh jimmy Hensman's kid and someone actually passed away behind that uh someone that was down with 50 i forget his name uh he was there at the same, and you know, that, that wasn't a great move to do. I mean, going after a kid, but, uh, and it was then 50 cent kept going. Oh, Omar, how much, uh, Omar, how much you play? Uh, they pay to play a punk. I'm sorry. Omar, how much they pay you to play a punk? Mind your business. Cause you know, on the wire, he played a guy that likes guys, but he was a gangster. So in the recent post, you know, Michael K. Williams passed. He said, damn, uh, damn, if you didn't see Raising Canaan, check it out. The fentanyl's no joke. Killing the clientele. I totally forgot he went back and forth with Michael K. Williams just three years ago. Jimmy Henchman repped the game. And this is why 50 Cent is bitter. Well, I would say bitter. He holds grudges even after you pass. If he had beef with you, it's on to the afterlife okay it's crazy man um anyways someone reminded me of that in the live today has lease and I, I i appreciate that i forgot about that and thank you for reminding me i appreciate you anyways this is jordan tower with jt news make sure you smash that like button smash that subscribe button i'll check you guys in the next one